my fellow Leo Virgos. Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you for all the likes, the subscribes, the comments, and the views, the shares. I appreciate you all so very much. So please remember there's no way this can connect to everybody. The Oracle cards go here, which are all for you, and the Tarot cards over here, which are the energies around you, but you will probably show up over here as well. So you decide where the cards go and fit into your situation. I just read the cards. So let's see what they say for us today. 44, time to fly. I think we may have had this last time. I'm not sure. I'd have to check. So 44 is a master number. It is saying that in some sense we are rising above dark, dark situations in our life and we're getting ready to go fast towards our happiness and our future. 17 is baggage be gone. So we have 8 here and 8 here. So something is going to go full circle. 8 to me is an infinity number. So I feel like this is happening for a reason. I feel like everything happens for a reason. But you're getting ready to release something in the past. Bazinga, 10. So there's going to be an ending to something. Something that was dark or you felt like you couldn't release or you couldn't get away from is getting ready to bring light. You're getting ready to be happier and the ending is going to be very beautiful. So you're flying to an ending and you're flying to release something and it looks like it's going to catapult you forward. So the first one is Five of Swords. So there's conflict around you. I feel like there's somebody watching you. This is three people. You can barely see the female in there walking away. But this male is glaring and she has her eyes down. I don't know if she sees him glaring. And this person obviously has their back and has no idea they're being glared at. So somebody is watching you, trying to cause conflict. They're very hostile, I feel, almost vicious. So Four of Cups. It's somebody who regrets not being in your life anymore. I feel like at one time this person had feelings for you. But obviously, maybe they brought a third party situation in and now they're reflecting how they lost you. So Ace of Swords is clarifying to me that you walked away from this person. You were like, if you're going to do me like that, there's no reason for you to be in my life. Just go away. So Eight of Cups, ouch. So this person has received bad karma for what they did to you ever since you cut them out. So I almost feel like some of you knew the life they were living and the choices they were making were going to bring bad karma to them so you cut them out before the karma spilled over onto you because if people get karma and it's just like getting what you reap so if you put bad karma out it's going to come back to you I don't know when or how but it will so if you put it out and then you're in love and you have a beautiful person around you and the karma comes back it's going to affect the people around you as well so it's almost like you knew, Leo, that this person was going to get karma and you didn't want to be around them when it came. So six of coins. So the universe feels like you were deserving of people being kind and giving to you. So the universe almost pushed you, I feel, to get out of this conflict and move away. They feel like you were not deserving of that. It's almost like you knew. So eight of swords is telling me this person is stuck in their own thinking. They could be in prison or jail. But they're like a self-sabotager. They look in the mirror and they find reasons to not like themselves. And then they go out and show it to the rest of the world and get other people to not like themselves as well. So Princess of Cups tells me that you tried to offer this person love. You were very honest with this person. You were very genuine, genuine and you really tried to help this person with your love. So I feel like this person's past was really dark. I, I don't even know where I got that from. And so temperance. Temperance tells me a couple things. This means that something wasn't the right time. Something didn't work out because it wasn't the time for it to work out. It also means to me that there's past life connection. When the cups have the water connecting them and the wings, it looks like an angel. And it's clarifying the karma that I do feel like it wasn't something wasn't right the time or the timing was off and the universe wanted you to be away when this person received their karma so it could be past life connection where they treated you bad in your past life 
and they came in this life and treated you bad as well. So the universe is going to say, fine, we're going to give you karma. We've given you two chances to treat the Leo Virgo right, and you didn't do it either time, so we're just going to give you your karma. So death, wow. So one door closed, so another door can open. You left yourself here, and you walked towards a better future, a more happiness, a better, better future. So Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is saying that somebody is very honest, somebody is very loving. There's high intuition with the Queen of Cups. She's very um, giving of herself. She offers honesty. She offers love. So the Hierophant. This is somebody who is very high in intuition. They have their third eye is able to receive messages. They listen to the messages they get. They could have somebody that's trying to communicate with them through telepathy, I feel. But this is very high spiritual wisdom. Very high. I mean, between the intuition here and then the spiritual wisdom there, just like, wow, very strong. Could be psychic, possibly, with the Hierophant. So... Fire King. Fire King is pride and ego. This could be Leo placement. I feel like somebody put their pride and ego on a pedestal and they hurt you because they did that. So Earth King. Earth King is somebody in heaven acknowledging they were beside you during when this was happening. They were trying to guide you and they love you and they were with you the whole time. And maybe you got messages from somebody in heaven or you had dreams from somebody in heaven and you were like, what does that mean? Why is it, what does that mean? I always suggest to my viewers to keep a dream journal and a moon journal. A dream journal, write down the time you wake up, one word of what that dream was, or more if you can think of it, and it can trigger the dream the next day or the next week when you look back on that journal. Numbers are very spiritual, and a moon journal will help you learn what moons affect you. So where you can be like, yeah, I'm not going out with Sally on the Pisces moon because I know I'm going to get all emotional so they really do help so six of fire is somebody who is a boss at a work situation and they seem to have people like fluff them up is how I feel they help people at a job situation at school you had the teacher's pet well at job situations at adults we have people who want to be the boss's pet they want the boss to like them. They want the boss to pick them. And there's just a situation where somebody you were involved with was very particular on liking the attention from people at a work situation. You know, I'm the boss. Bring me gifts. And this person was selfish to me. So nine of sky. This person is really, really stressed out now at what's going on. It's clarifying the temperance card. So somebody is stressed. They can't sleep. They are getting their karma now and they are feeling it. So the cat is a precursor to a leap of faith, taking a chance on something you've never done before. I feel like this is usually love. So... Earth Queen. Earth Queen is somebody who's very rigid, very opinionated, very one way. They don't, they're not flexible, they're not adaptable. You can read this person like a book. And they're watching you. They're watching you take the leap of faith. So Nine of Fire is addiction. So I do feel like this person at the workplace has some sort of addiction. So I always feel like birds of a feather flock together. So I do feel like people who use a certain substance will hang out with other people who use a certain substance. The universe is trying to keep this person on a certain path. The crown chakra is open where they're trying very hard to get this person to come out of the addiction and move forward. But I feel like they're not. So Eight of Sky is saying that somebody is stuck in their own thinking. I feel like it's the addicted person. They seem stuck. They are. This could be family holding them down in some way, but in the, they think it's going to get worse, and they hold themselves stuck. So look at this. A lot of somebody is really in a bad place. Not you, Leo Virgo, but somebody who did you wrong is really not doing well. So ten of fire, wow. So you have removed yourself from the chaos and drama. You were like, yeah, I'm, I'm not interested in that. Thank you. And then nine of fire. So nine of fire is you see your big picture. You see your future. You see where your life can go. You're setting goals. You're dreaming. 
you're manifesting, you're looking to your higher power, and then sea kittens. So whoever this addicted person was, they're not grounded. They're in and out. They were in and out of your life, in and out, and you couldn't figure out what their issues were, why they couldn't commit, why they couldn't be grounded. And then Ace of Fire. Ace of Fire is you listening to your intuition. You getting that feeling in your stomach or that voice in your head that tells you that there's a warning, warning, warning. The alarm is going off and you're listening to it. You listen to it concerning this person. You're like, I need to get away from this person. It could have been the addiction, the in and out, the chaos, the drama where you're like, I don't want what's coming this person's way and I need to get myself away from them as fast as possible. So Ten of Sky, wow. So Ten of Sky is saying that this person feels backed into a corner they could have tried to emotionally abuse you. They could have even physically abused you. They could have tried really hard to make you feel stuck. I feel like there was a group of people that wanted you to feel stuck. They backed you in a corner and wanted you to stay there. So then you have the world. So you're like, nope, not staying there. Watch what I can do. And you manifested your future and you turned the wheel of your life. You want a peaceful life. You want a happy life. You saw where you could go. You try to tell the other people, but I feel like they failed to listen to you. Maybe some of them laughed at you. So Seven of Fire tells me these people are fighting now. They're all fighting. They're conflicted with each other. They're all not getting along. But when you were around, they all ganged up and acted like they were a team and they were against you, and now they're not getting along. So Sky Kitten is celebrating. This is happiness feeling childlike at the good things that are coming into your life. You're like, wow, this just turned out really well. So the first one is Big Picture 23. So I feel like you saw that you could transform and you have the key and the love in your heart and the healing to change your life to what you want it to be. You did not listen to other people who tried to hold you down or hold you back or told you you couldn't accomplish something or made you think you needed this, you needed that, you listened to yourself and therefore you healed yourself. So joy, 26. So this talks about your heart healing and your soul healing. I feel like somebody tried to hurt you so bad that they tried to hurt your soul. They tried to knock you down way deep inside yourself. They were like, nope, we don't want Leo Virgo to prosper. We don't want them to move ahead of us. We're better than them is what somebody was thinking. And they tried very hard, but they could not override your faith, your self-worth, your thinking. Two, understanding. So this talks about knowing that your path is the way it is for a reason. That you meet people you meet in your life because you either teach them lessons or they teach you lessons. That everything in your life is not going to be perfect. You're not going to go a calm path. But it's saying your big picture is you're going on the path you're supposed to go. You're understanding that you're going towards your happiness. I feel like you are going towards a garden and your light is shining. I mean, you understand that you try to understand other people's feelings and situations and why they do the things they do. But in the end, you can only understand yourself and your path is what I feel, because you have to be weary of other people trying to um, throw you off your path, trying to confuse you. So then you have seven, dancing in the rainbow. This is the Hawaiian spinner dolphin. Break free from whatever you feel is holding you back. Express happiness. Find out what you truly desire. So your happiness and your rainbow is coming for you. I mean, look at this. Time to fly, and then the Hawaiian spinner dolphin... You, and it says to release what's holding you back, baggage be gone. You have totally moved past something that was trying to hold you back and you did not allow it. 25, breakthrough to new dimensions. A new endeavor is on the horizon. Innovative energy wants to burst forth into your consciousness. So this is Migaloo and Migaloo Jr. In the book it says the Australians consider either one of these whales good luck. Because the light is right there at the surface and it's up towards the stars and it talks about innovative energy to your consciousness, I feel like you know in your thought process when you're thinking of where you're going and what you're doing. 
you see, I mean, look at a rainbow and then the light and the stars. You totally understand, some of you, why you're here, where you're going, and the purpose. And you, those of you who don't understand, I feel you're coming to grip with it. You're kind of learning the strength and the power you have down here on earth and that you are guided by the divine. And they try very hard to make you aware of what you're here for. So, Lord, take charge with authority. So, this talks about being protected, first of all. It talks about the caducus he's holding. It is about your belief, your faith, your higher power. Take charge is where they're asking you to be brave. Be assertive in expressing your strengths to people. Don't feel small. Don't feel like you have to hide your beliefs and your strengths from the world because that's why you're here. You're here to open doors to help people learn that they have this ability in them too, but other people doubt it or they don't believe it, so therefore they try and make you doubt yourself or make you not believe it. So this is saying you're protected, you're here for a reason, you have a lot of new beginnings, a lot of healing energy, a lot of love, a lot of intuition, and a lot of belief in your higher power, your faith. So peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. So this talks about not always needing to be right. So if you're in a situation where you're trying really hard to hang on to somebody and you felt the negative energy, the karma was coming for them, and you tried your hardest to get them to see, no, come with me, come with me, break away from the conflict, break away from the addiction, I can show you a better way. We can be happy. And this person didn't listen to you. You had to leave this person behind. You had to make peace with yourself and walk away from that person. And I, I feel like I'm going to cry. This was really hard for you. This was really difficult. But you understand that the universe put you here for a reason. And you have to take charge of yourself. You cannot take charge of anybody else's choices, decisions, outcomes, or what they choose to do, you can only be responsible for yourself. So when you let go of the need to be right, you brought peace to yourself. You release the negative energy, the haters, if you will, the people trying to hold you back. So beautiful reading. Bless you, Leo Virgo.